This is my homemade mushroom liquid culture bioreactor bag. By using bags instead of jars, I can massage the liquid culture to break it up instead of using a magnetic stir bar. And it also takes up less space than jars. First, I added 2,400 milliliters of warm water to the filter patch bag, and then I weighed out 48 grams of dextrose powder and 4 grams of soy peptone powder, and then I added that to the filter patch bag. Next, after the powders are dissolved in the warm water, I put the bag inside of a pressure cooker with four jars of water on every side to keep it supported, and then some clips on the fold of the bag to keep it shut. And then I pressure sterilized the bag at 15 PSI for 25 minutes, and then I bring it out when it's cooled down and use an impulse sealer to seal the top of the bag. Now that the bag is sterilized and sealed, I inoculate it with mushroom liquid culture. I just use one of these injection ports and stick it anywhere on the bag and then I inject through it with a sterile needle and empty the syringe of liquid culture. Now I just put the bag of liquid culture on a shelf in a warm room and agitate it every day and then the mycelium will keep growing more and more until it's completely full. It only took about one month for the mycelium to almost completely colonize the whole bag of liquid. At this point, I use a sterile syringe to extract a little bit of that liquid, and then I inoculate two agar plates to check to see if any contamination grows. The agar plates revealed no contamination, so the bioreactor bag is a success.